wonderful learners. Hope you are doing well and keeping safe as well. It's time for science. On humans and their environment, we are going to talk about sanitation. Sanitation. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to tell at least three ways of keeping proper sanitation. You should also keep three important of keeping proper sanitation. To help us understand this lesson into details, let's go through our keywords. Sanitation. Sanitation. Sanitation is the act or process of making a place clean. So, if you are performing any action that will make your bedroom or your hall look clean, that means you are keeping proper sanitation. The next keyword, sewage. Sewage. Refuse, liquids, or waste matters. It means the refuse that are in the liquid form. We don't call it rubbish, but it is known as sewage. The next keyword is drainage. Drainage. The act or process of removing a liquid waste. The act or process of removing liquid waste. What are these liquid wastes? They are the wastes. They are the dirty water that we get after washing something. After washing plates, fruits and vegetables, or even the liquid we see in the gutters. They are the liquid waste known as sewage. But why do they pass? They pass through a drainage. One typical example of a drainage is a gutter. For children to grow up healthy and happy, you need access to clean water, clean hygiene or good hygiene and proper sanitation. You remember we talked about personal hygiene in our previous lesson. What did we say about personal hygiene? We said it is the act of keeping ourselves clean. And what are the various ways for keeping ourselves clean? By bathing, washing our hands regularly, brushing our teeth, and many others. We also looked at the importance of keeping personal hygiene. Some of them are to prevent tooth decay, bad odor, that is if you don't bath regularly. Good. Today we are going to talk about how to keep our surroundings clean, which is sanitation. Sanitation. Why do we need proper sanitation? Sanitation is important because a variety of harmful and deadly bacteria and virus like coronavirus would otherwise infect us and potentially start a disease. So there is a need for us to keep proper sanitation. Now let's look at how we can maintain proper sanitation. One, weeding and sweeping. You need to weed your surroundings. If you don't weed them, deadly animals like snakes hide in the bush. And they can be very, very harmful to us. So you need to weed around your surroundings. What are some of the
the things you need. Cutlass, hoe, and rake. Sweeping. You need to sweep and mop as well, especially if you have a tiled room. Good. I hope you can see the pictures. What are they doing? They are weeding their environment. And the girl is also sweeping using the brush. Another way in which we can maintain proper sanitation is by cleaning gutters or drainage systems. You need to desilt the solid particles from our drainage systems. Hope you can see the picture very carefully. Look at it closely. What are they doing? They are dissolving the solid particles from the gutter to allow the free flow of sewage, which is the liquid. Good. Which other way can you maintain proper sanitation? Another way is by dumping refuse into dustbins. Most of it throw rubbish anywhere at all. It's very bad. Anytime you go to town and you need to throw something away, look for dustbins. If you can't find one, take the refuse along to your homes and dump them in dustbins. Very good. I know you can think of different, different ways in which you can maintain proper sanitation. If you look at some, so try and look for the others. Now let's look at the importance. Why do we need to maintain proper sanitation? Like I said before, proper sanitation helps reduce the spread of diseases like cholera, cold, and the deadly virus, COVID-19. Yes, you don't need to spit around anyhow because you don't know the next person that will pass by and will be infected by this virus. We need to maintain proper sanitation to keep us healthy all the time. Another way or another importance of maintaining proper sanitation is to provide serene and healthy environment for us to breathe in fresh air. Imagine sitting at the market with fields and the scent that will come from the surrounding wouldn't allow you to breathe in fresh air. So proper sanitation provides a serene and healthy environment for people like us to breathe in fresh air. What again? Okay, proper sanitation also ensures a conducive environment for learning. Yes, if we don't have clean environment, you wouldn't have the safe mind to learn. So children, look for other ways of maintaining proper sanitation in your area and try to find the importance of them. So we meet another time. Bye-bye.